Okay, so these are parts I'm thinking of using for my uh, solar cooker, or just the first one I've ever made. So I'm going to try to play with some easy stuff first. This is a big bowl. I'm going to use that as a reflector. Now my original thought was that I would put this glass bowl inside and then use this aluminum, one of these aluminum foil trays, paint black, and then put a black piece of aluminum foil over top of it as well, and um, put some water and rice inside there, and then put this um, cover on there. And the whole idea is that the sun would reflect off the, um, the, the aluminum bowl here onto, through the glass, onto the uh, black, this right here, painted black, and heat it up. Um, and of course the heat would be trapped inside of this glass bowl. So that's the purpose of the glass bowl. But I'm thinking that maybe the glass bowl is going to block too much sunlight just because of all of its shape and so on. I'm not sure. I might get a mason jar, paint it black, and just put a mason jar here instead. Uh, then I want to put a box around this um, for a couple of purposes. One is because I want to put, might want to put some reflectors up here. I've got some mirrors I can cut up for that. Uh, another reason is I have a sun pointer that I want to mount on the box. And another reason for the box would be so I can put insulation back here so I wouldn't have heat loss out the back. Um, but I'll see where it goes. First I'm just going to make the box for this reflector. Okay, so here's the box I made. Right here. It's not a weatherproof or anything, but it's good for a quick test. So this will work. Uh, the bowl fits in there. I can put insulation in here, put the bowl in there. Um, this part here is for mounting any kind of reflectors on. And if need be, I can get fancier and I can cut a hole in this piece of cardboard. And that gives me a bigger mounting surface for attaching reflectors and whatnot. And just attach that to here. Next, for the insulation, what I did was I took a bunch of rags and just stuff them in there. Should be good enough. This particular collector, I've also attached the uh, sun finder, my sun finder, into the corner. So I can line it up with the sun. I uh, changed my mind by using the glass bowl. Instead, I'm going to use this plastic peanut butter jar. I'm just going to fill it with water and uh, do a temperature test uh, for now. And I'm going to paint it black using this uh, barbecue and stove paint, which is good for high temperature. I'll clean the uh, jar thoroughly with um, uh, soap and water first to make sure the uh, paint will stick well. I'm also going to stick this cooking thermometer down the middle of the jar so I can monitor the temperature, see what kind of temperature increase I can get. Okay, so I put the... Uh, black painted uh, peanut butter jar, one of these types of things, just plastic for testing purposes, inside here, and I aluminum taped it to the bottom of the, uh, the bowl. Um, I filled it with 375 milliliters of water for this test, just to see what temperature it's going to increase to. Um, then I stretched some um, um, plastic um, cooking plastic, this plastic wrap that you use in cooking for putting around bowls and stuff. And I managed to stretch it very nicely over this bowl uh, and used aluminum tape in places to hold it there nice and firmly. This aluminum tape is just stuff we buy at hardware stores and plumbing stores. And for where it didn't quite um, cover the whole bowl, I put some just plastic wrapping tape. Um, both sides here. Okay, the bowl is now in the box and to hold it in place I put these strings right here. I just punctured some holes on either side of the cardboard and then I brought that around and tied it. And I did the same thing on the other side. So that should hold it nicely in, in place there. It seems to work quite well at steep angle. So. Okay, so here it all is out on a um, partly, it's not bright sunny blue sky, was, but I can see a disc for the sun for sure. And just uh, showing you the adjustment right here works out quite well. And all I've simply done was uh, put a box underneath the back on the picnic table, and you can see that you can just up, down, and so on. Takes a little getting the hang of it, but there we go. Now pointed directly at the sun. Here it is at the beginning. As you can see, the needle isn't even on the scale yet, so I'm guessing it's 25 degrees Celsius, um, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. 
here it is near the end. At the end it was actually 70 Celsius, uh, which is 158 Fahrenheit, so not boiling yet. I let it go for only around two and a quarter hours. I adjusted the direction every 10 minutes, but I couldn't get to it for the last half hour. I was eating lunch. <laughs> One thing to note is that all is all this condensation that formed under the clear plastic covering. Uh, the plastic's very thin, so it doesn't insulate much. That makes it cool on the inside surface, so condensation happens. I'll have to work on that. So a 55 degrees Celsius temperature increase over two hours, or 81 Fahrenheit, for something so poorly insulated and a first quick and dirty attempt. Not bad. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, click here for part three. Part three covers the design and construction of the cone or reflector. Uh, you can also click here to see a video about my homemade sun finder, which I use to line up the solar cooker with the sun. Mm -hmm.